Welcome student math community and in this video we are going to review the process of solving quadratic equations by factoring. First thing a quadratic equation, I don't know what just happened there, but first thing you got to remember about quadratic equation is that means we have what's called a degree 2 equation. Means that the highest power on the exponent is going to be a 2. And the first way that we have to do this is to solve it by factoring. So what we need to remember is our, in order to solve a quadratic equation, it has to be equal to 0. So you see the example I'm going to do for you is equal to 20. So the first thing that I have to do is bring that 20 over to the left side. So I'm going to subtract it from both sides of the equation. Now that 20 is not a like term with anything else on the left. So it is just going to have three terms now, and it's equal to 0. And if you remember, uh, at some point you probably saw something called the principle of zero products. And what that means is this. If you know, if I tell you that we have two numbers, we don't know what they are, but we know when you multiply them together, you get 0. Well, the only way to get 0 when you multiply is either this number, a has to be 0, or this number here, b, has to be equal to 0. So we are going to use our powers of factoring in order to write this trinomial, uh, x squared minus 8x minus 20, as a product of two things. And so if you are unsure of your ability to factor, um, then let me know in the discussion post on the student math community, and I can post a video and some review for that. But this is first. This first example is factoring something with a 1 in front of the x squared. So uh, the x squared, my first, is going to give me x times x. The negative in front of the 20, this negative right here, tells me my signs are going to be different, so a plus and a minus. And then I'm looking for the two factors of 20 that are going to be 8 apart. Okay, they have a difference of 8 because I have a positive and a negative. If you're unsure about your adding and subtracting signed numbers, there, uh, there's review videos and worksheets and exercises in a module above. So my factor choices for 20 are 1 and 20. Those are 19 apart. Uh, we've also got the option of 2 and 10. Those are 8 apart. That looks like it's going to be what I want. 4 and 5, those are 1 apart. So I'm going to use 2 and 10. And I'm going to make the 10 negative because of the negative in front of the 8. So now, with my zero product property that I mentioned to you a moment ago, I'm going to take each of these two factors, uh, x plus 2, set it equal to 0, x minus 10, set it equal to 0. And when I solve these two linear equations, my first answer is negative 2, and my second answer is going to be 10. And so there we go. I've got two answers. I'm going to write it as a set with some squiggly braces. And I'm done. So now I'm going to forward the video, or forward to the next slide. And there's three examples. I'd like you to push pause and give these a try. So welcome back. So here we go. I'm going to just go through these. Check your work with my work. If you have any questions, let me know. The first example is already equal to 0, so there's nothing that I need to do as far as um, moving anything over to the left. My firsts, which I get from my x squared, are going to be x and x. The plus in front of the 8 tells me the signs are going to be the same, and the plus in front of the 6 says they're both going to be positive. And the two factors of 8 that add up to 6 are 4 and 2. And so now I take each of these two factors. I'm going to take the x plus 4, set it equal to 0, and the x plus 2, set it equal to 0. And now I have linear equations, which we are hopefully pretty good at solving. And I'm going to solve both of these, and there's my two solutions, negative 2 and negative 4. And I'm going to put them in a set, and we're done with that problem. The second problem, you notice, is not equal to 0. Uh, so I'm going to put everything on the left-hand side with the x squared. Uh, you, could put every, you could put the x squared on the right, but I prefer to have a positive coefficient in front of my x squared, and since it's a positive 1 right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides. I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. 
Now notice all the stuff on the left, none of these right here are like terms. So I'm just going to write x squared minus 7x minus 30. On the right, the 7x's cancel, the 30's cancel, and I have 0. So this is very similar to the example that I did on the first page. My x squared, my firsts, are going to be x and x. This negative in front of the 30 tells me my signs are going to be positive and negative. And then my factor choices for 30 are 1 and 30. I've got 3 and 10. I've got 2 and 15. I've got 5 and 6. You can just get those by using a calculator. Don't be scared of your calculator. But I need the pair that is 7 apart. So it's going to be 3 and 10. The 10 is going to be negative because the 7 is negative and the negative number wins. So now I'm going to take each of these two factors and set them equal to 0. And we are going to solve the second quadratic equation. Here I subtract 3. There's my first answer is negative 3. Here I add 10. And my second answer is positive 10. And write it in as a set. And we can move on to the last problem. So the last problem, again, is not equal to 0. So I have one thing to move. I'm going to subtract the 4. And I'm going to line it up under its like term. And so I have 2x squared plus 7x minus 8. Now, again, uh, I don't know how you learned to factor something that has a number that is not 1 in front of the squared. There's several methods. Uh, the purpose of this video is not discussing how to learn factoring. Again, if that is an issue, uh, post a, a comment in the discussion thread above, and we can talk about it, and I can, I can get you some help for, for doing that. But in the meantime, 2x squared plus 7x minus 8. 2x squared factors to 2x and x. My signs are going to be different, and I need the two factors of negative 8 that are going to make my outers and inners add up to 7. So I'm going to put a, put a plus 4 out here and a minus 1 right here. And you can check that by foiling. That makes the outers, which are going to be 8, and the inners, which are negative 1, are going to add up to plus 7. So if that looks mysterious to you, let me know so I can give you some help on how to, how to learn how to factor something like that. But in the meantime, as far as solving the equation, I take my two factors that I now have, uh, set them equal to 0. I'm going to look at the one on the right first because it's a quicker process. We get x is negative 4. And on the left, I've got two steps for this one. I'm going to add the 1 first, and I get 2x is equal to 1, divide by 2. And I get x is 1 over 2. Fractions are legal answers to quadratic equations, so don't be scared or don't think you did anything wrong. And there you go. There's a review. If you need more help, uh, there are worksheets and exercises below. Uh, let me know how you're doing and if I can be of further assistance.